Hi friends, welcome to Creative DIY Purpose. Today I have five upcycle projects for you using these thrift store finds. So come on, let's get started. The first item that I have is this wooden wall hanging that I picked up for a dollar at a yard sale last summer. And while it is nice, our thrift stores and yard sales are loaded with deer decor. And I thought this was a beautiful piece of wood to try to repurpose. We had some beautiful weather, so I took this right outside, sanded it with some 180, and then followed up with some 220 grit sandpaper. And it came out completely smooth and ready for the next step. Now when I took it outside, one of the metal hooks broke off, but that's okay, I'll save those two for a future project, and we'll just turn it into something else. I'm going to remove all the hardware at and now I'll fill up all of those holes and give the back a good sanding. So I'm gonna apply a coat of the clear wax from DIY and then I'll decide where to go from here. I still guess it's gonna depend on how it looks. Yeah, that's what I thought it's got. A red tone, but that's okay. It'll... Next, I'm going to add some of the antiquing wax up over the top of that. I applied a heavy coat of the antique wax, let it sit on for a while, and now I'm wiping it back with a cloth. After that, I applied another coat because I wanted it a little bit darker to see if I could get some of that red out. And I feel that the second coat definitely made a huge difference. So after that sits on for a while, I'll wipe it back with a cloth. I decided to turn this piece into a tray and I found some metal handles that I took off of another old project. And I'm going to give them a coat of black matte spray paint. All right, I am not going to drill the holes in and place these in today because I want to give the tray a chance to cure and set, but I will place them on there and style it just to show you the finished look. If you like today's projects, please hit that thumbs up button for me to help my channel grow and make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss this Sunday's Upcycled Projects. Friends, you may notice that throughout today's video, there's little printed tags that I used. I do have these available for you as a free printable download on my blog, which I will link below. I recommend printing them out on cardstock. The post on the blog also has a pin for you to be able to add to Pinterest so that you can find this free printable at a later date. I picked up this a turkey bowl at a yard sale for 50 cents and it's got some dings in it, but I think I can sand those out. And I picked up this candlestick holder for 99 cents. This is such a super simple project. I applied two coats of black spray paint that had a primer built in, and I'm going to leave this candlestick alone because I really love all the detail in it. And I think that it will be a nice complement to this wooden bowl. So we're going to use some E6000 and turn that into a pedestal. But first I want to add a, some highlights and see if we can't give this bowl a little bit more character. I'm applying some watered down chalk paint from Waverly in the color Truffle. And then next I will apply some of the antique wax on the inside of the bowl and the outside. Let it sit there for a little bit and then wipe it back. And I'll use E6000 glue to adhere the candlestick to the bowl. Let me know if you like the candlestick left like that or if I should have painted it. So this project only cost $1.50 to put together and you've got a great piece of home decor. All right, so for our next project, we're kind of doing the same thing. I purchased this bowl, I believe for around $1.50. It has something almost like perfume that looks like it was um, dumped on the inside and it looks like it came through the entire piece onto the outside. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it together a little bit. And then I have this silver plated candlestick holder that I paid 50 cents for. I gave the piece a good cleaning. I did sand the top. 
and I sanded along the outside to, to see if I could get off some of the shiny spots on the outside and that was a success. The inside still has a red tint to it, but that's fine. I flipped it upside down, gave it two coats of spray paint so the outside looks good. And I'm applying some of the antique wax. After, you know, I cleaned the bowl and after I, I applied actually two coats of the antique wax, um, there is no more uh, fragrant smell, which is great. And the red is still a little bit noticeable, but the two coats of the antique wax, I think helped bring it together. All right, so I did let the second coat sit on for a while. I'm going around the top because the top I did sand and it is a little more porous. I'll wipe that wax back right away. I know it's so hard to tell, um, but in person, it, it definitely looks a lot better. It looks more put together. All right, so I'm just gonna brush on some of the antique wax all over the entire outside, and then we're gonna wipe that back. I did not apply any wax to the bottom because I wanted to get a good fit with the glue and candlestick holder. So the lighting is so bright that it's really hard to tell the different tones in this dish, but I think it came out really good. And I'm not complaining that we have a beautiful sunny day. For our next step, I'm going to adhere the candlestick holder onto the bottom of the wooden bowl. I decided to do for this piece because this area here is so thin, there's not going to be that much to adhere onto here. And I don't want to drill into the bottom of the bowl um, because I don't even think that I have a boring bit this size, but that's okay. So I recommend just a basic plastic cap. You can go up and over the top. So if I had a little bit bigger one, which I do, but I've just decided not to do that for this project because I want the decorative trim to be able to show. Ta-da! Yep. Awesome. And I'll roughen the top up just so the glue adheres as well as it can. Once this has had a chance to dry overnight, I will paint the inside of the candlestick holder. I picked up the silver tray with wooden handles for $2. It has a lot of surface scratches and dings, but I'm hoping that the two coats of spray paint that I'm gonna apply will help. So I nicked it right here with the sandpaper, but that's okay. I decided to go one step further. I wanted to have the look of cast iron. I think I got too much baking soda, but. That's all right, now I'm curious as to how I can get it to look. So, We'll make it work. You can see. A um, lot of texture. Of course, the curious side of me is wondering what it would look like if I put on some of the antiquing wax. So I'm going to try just a little section. So after I applied the wax, I called it finished. But now that I'm looking back, I may add some cinnamon in areas to it to give it like authentic, rusty, cast iron look. Or I may paint over the texture with just solid black. If I make any changes, I'll post it on my Instagram and the community tab. I picked up these curtain rod corbels, I believe for $3.99 each. They are solid, thick, and heavy. And we're gonna turn them into a set of bookends. So I applied two coats of the spray paint. And once I had a chance to dry overnight, I applied some of the antiquing wax and wiped that back. It did. And that would allow me to make it easier to wipe back some of the watered down truffle paint. But I felt that at this point it needed something else. So I did Google antique black painted corbels. And what I noticed was they all had like almost specks of brown and it was all throughout the piece, especially on the edges. So I just took a paper towel and dipped it in the water truffle paint. And I th think that I got it. So now I'm going to do the same to the one on the right and hopefully I'll get them matched up. 
some of the areas that I got a little too much paint on, I just go over and blot that off with another cloth. And then I go around the entire piece and do that same technique. Friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a super blessed week. I will see you Sunday and God bless.